So the 20 or so drugs that are designated as disease-modifying in MS uh, work well at preventing relapse of disease and slowing down the rate of progression. And they do this mainly by immunosuppression. So the fewer, if they can keep the immune cells out of the CNS, uh, they could prevent flares. If they could turn down inflammation in the brain, uh, then they could reverse the flares through, through the natural mechanism of, of uh, resolution. Um, however, immunosuppression comes with a price, um, as well as um, not, not just uh, a monetary price, and all these drugs are extremely expensive on the order of $100,000 per year. Um, but they also have uh, some side effects. So common, less serious side effects are injection site or infusion reactions, nausea, diarrhea, and hair loss, but also more serious effects like hepatotoxicity and cardiomyopathy. There are also dangerous known risks to related to immunosuppression, like infections, PML, secondary leukemia, and risks for thyroid, breast, and skin cancers. Now, vagus nerve stimulation is a known, is a common treatment for drug-resistant epilepsy and depression. As of 2022, there are over 125,000 patients implanted with vagus nerve stimulators uh, for the last 25 years. Um, now, these side of, the side effects uh, of, the of the implantation and treatment are all well known. Um, and they center really around the time of surgery itself. Um, once you get past two weeks outside of surgery, uh, the, um, the, um, the side effects are limited to during the stimulation itself, the major side effect being a contraction of laryngeal muscle causing some discomfort and difficulty swallowing during the time that, that the, the stimulation occurs. In epilepsy and depression, a uh, vagus nerve stimulation is typically uh, given 30 seconds on, 90, 30 seconds on, five minutes off around the clock. For chronic inflammatory disease, our data indicates that we would need to stimulate the patients only for minutes per day. So it's an order of magnitude lower than what's, than what's in clinical use currently uh, for epilepsy and depression. So as I mentioned, uh, these drugs are, are disease modifying and they can uh, decrease rates of relapse and slow the, down the rate of progression. But what none of the drugs uh, can do or have been shown to do is increase the rate of remyelination or to reverse uh, the progressive damage that has occurred. Pro-remyelination therapies is currently the holy grail of MS research. Preclinical data with vagus nerve stimulation in animal models uh, have indicated that there is a real potential for increasing the rate of remyelination and potentially reversal of some damage that has occurred. So this may be a unique effect of stimulating these neuroimmune pathways.